Good day everyone! This is Teacher Nori and today we're going to talk about matter. Before we proceed, let's review first what is matter. Matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. It has properties like mass and weight, volume and density. There are five states of matter, solid, liquid, gas, plasma, and Bose-Einstein condensate. The amount of energy in matter can help determine its state. Matter can be divided into two categories, pure substances and mixtures. This illustration shows what makes up matter. The smallest particles are the subatomic particles, like quarks. These subatomic particles bind together the different parts of an atom. The parts of an atom are electrons, neutrons, and protons. When atoms bind together, they form a molecule, and molecules form matter. This illustration shows us different aspects of matter. The first one are the properties of matter, like mass, weight, volume, and density. Then, we have the different states. Solid, liquid, gas, plasma, and the Bose-Einstein condensate. Next one are the different kinds of matter. Pure substances and mixtures. Let us define pure substances. Pure substances are those that is made up of only one type of atom or molecule. These cannot be further divided through physical means. Pure substances can be further divided into two, elements and compounds. What are the characteristics of pure substances? A pure substance is mostly homogeneous in nature, containing only one type of atom or molecule. It also has uniform composition throughout. This means it has the same property in any part of it. It has fixed boiling point and melting point, and it is usually used to form new products as a result of chemical reaction. As what was stated, pure substances can be divided into two elements and compounds. Examples of elements are gold, sulfur, mercury, and carbon. Examples of compounds are water, salt, sugar, and paracetamol. Another category of matter is mixtures. Mixtures are made up of different atoms or molecules that are only physically combined and can be separated into their original components. Mixtures can also be further grouped into two, heterogeneous mixture and homogeneous mixture, or as usually referred to as solution. Just like pure substances, mixtures also has its characteristics. First, it does not have any specific properties, only average properties of the parts. Next, it is formed through physical change. This means that it can be separated physically. Third, its composition varies. And its melting and boiling points vary, depending on the amount of substances in the mixture. To summarize our lesson, let us compare the different characteristics of pure substances and mixture. Pure substances cannot be broken down or separated. Mixtures can be broken down into its components. Pure substances has constant physical and chemical properties, while mixtures has varying physical and chemical properties. Pure substances is made up of only one element or substance, while mixture is a combination of two or more substances. 
I hope this lesson gave you a deeper understanding about matter and its different kinds. You can practice what you've learned by identifying and classifying different substances into pure substance or mixture. See you next time!